Over 40 years after Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian to fly to space, Indian Air Force Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla will be flying to space this time on the Axiom 4 mission, a collaborative international mission by the US-based Axiom Space. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai. Welcome to Pure Science. The Axiom 4 mission will take flight on May 29th at 1.03 p.m. EDT, which will be around 10.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time from the NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Just to remind you all that Indian astronaut Shukla, who is the designated pilot for Axiom 4 mission, is also one of the four astronauts who have been training for India's first human space flight, Gaganyaan, which is expected to take flight sometime around 2026. For Axiom 4, Shukla will be accompanied by Mission Commander Peggy Whitson of the US, Mission Specialist Slavoski Uznaski Wisniski from Poland and Mission Specialist Tibur Kapu of Hungary. His colleague Prashant B. Nair is the backup crew for the mission. The astronauts would be spending 14 days in the International Space Station to complete the mission requirements. With nearly 60 scientific studies and activities representing 31 countries, including US, India, Poland, Hungary, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Nigeria, UAE and nations across Europe, this mission is being touted as the most research and science related activities to ever be conducted on an Axiom space mission aboard ISS to date. This underscores the mission's global significance and collaborative nature to advance microgravity research in low Earth orbit. I will give you a sense of what subjects these experiments would cover and how significant they would be in furthering our understanding of the universe and its functioning. India alone is sending seven experiments on Axiom 4. One of the primary experiments on the mission is being collectively carried out by the International Centre for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology or ICGEB and the National Institute of Plant Genome Research. The experiment will study the impact of microgravity radiation on edible microalgae in the ISS. Microalgae are considered the perfect specimen of microorganisms for undertaking space studies during long flights because of their ability to grow food sustainably. The experiment will assess how space conditions impact the growth patterns and genetic activity of the samples. It will also study whether these microorganisms can be a potential option for space food in future missions. The ICGEB has also designed another experiment to study cyanobacteria's comparative growth and proteomics response when using urea versus nitrate in microbacteria. Proteomics is the large-scale study of proteins focusing on their identification, characterization and analysis to understand their roles in various biological processes. Another significant experiment around developing nutrition options for prolonged space missions is by the University of Agricultural Sciences in Dharwad. In this, scientists will investigate the sprouting of salad seeds in space. Bengaluru's Indian Institute of Science, which has been spearheading India's space experiments, has also developed two unique tests. One to analyze human interactions with electronic displays in microgravity and the other to study the growth and survival of microscopic animals or microfauna and eutardigrade paramicrobiotis or water bears. Along with this, the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, IIST, and the College of Agriculture from Kerala Agricultural University will send samples on board the mission to study the impact of microgravity on growth and yield parameters in food crop seeds. Axiom Space, in a statement issued earlier this week, said that unique to this mission, there is a strong focus on scientific portfolios. 
these experiments aim to showcase the value and opportunities in microgravity research, fostering international collaborations and scientific advancement. The studies will contribute to the global knowledge base in human research, earth observations and life, biological and material sciences, showcasing the space research capabilities of the crew's home nations. This mission is also set to delve deeper into the effects of spaceflight on the human body and to explore how space-based research can improve health and medical treatments on Earth. From other countries, some of the research areas that the mission will focus on are to assess how to support astronauts with insulin-dependent diabetes during short-duration missions in microgravity, examining microgravity's impact on the brain and cognitive risks, investigating cancer growth in space with a focus on triple negative breast cancer and collecting physiological and psychological data from astronauts to understand how humans adapt to space. In a statement last week, Axiom Space said that this mission lays the groundwork for the Axiom Station the first commercial space station which will offer a permanent platform for research manufacturing and human spaceflight. So the Axiom 4 mission will be something to watch out for. You were with me Soumya Pillai and this was Pure Science.